The history of aircraft is confused with that of aviation. The first attempts to conquer the skies were with balloons and airships like the ADB-3 X-01, a plane lighter than air. They were greatly used until the incident with the LC-129 Hindenburg airship in 1936. Now, Airship de Brasil specializes in the development, manufacture, marketing and operation of these aircrafts. The ADB 3X01 airship traveled from Sao Carlos to Rio de Janeiro to promote the revolutionary project that can bring benefits to two important commercial areas. Este é um dirigível que nós, embora tenha 48 metros de comprimento, a gente chama de pequeno. Então é realmente para não só turismo, voos panorâmicos, mas como também para publicidade, né? É um outdoor que qualquer pessoa que vê, ela marca o momento e a hora em que ela viu esse outdoor. The airship can also be used in television transmissions, for urban surveillance and even in agriculture to fumigate, due to the flight stability and low altitude. Airship de Brasil is developing a freighter that will initially have a capacity of between 15 and 30 tons of payload, all built by Brazilians. To pilot an aircraft, special documentation obtained through a specific aircraft course is required, as are aviation pilots or helicopters. After passing the course, Commander Charles initially piloted the famous Goodyear airship and is now responsible for all airship flights. He commands a Lycoming engine IO340 with 500 HP, more than enough to navigate the airship. A pilot da FAB, pilot de caça, and when I me aposentei da Força Aérea, um amigo meu que já voava o dirigível, que também era ex-piloto da FAB, me convidou para voar. With capacity for six people and a possibility of significantly increasing the number of passengers, the creators of the project hope that next summer, tourist flights on the coast of the capital of Rio de Janeiro will be a reality.